Hey YouTube, this is Brad with another DIY drip hydroponic system update. Uh, this is going to be the week 4 update and in this episode we're going to be doing some pruning on the uh, system and also we're going to uh, change a nutrient solution over and there will be a correction on the nutrient system also. Okay, so we're going to thin these out. And right now in this one we have three plants growing. So we're going to come in here and just snip them off and keep the best of the three and the same thing on this one we're going to keep that one looks a little scrawny so we're going to snip that one out Let's see, this one is smaller also. So we're going to keep that one. And on this lettuce, that one's coming straight up, and that one is going to the side. So we're going to trim out the weaker one on that one also. I want to be real careful not to. Uh, damage the other plant, just nick that and it's going to uh, die for sure. And on this little one, the main plant is grown straight up and we have another one that's going over to the side so we're going to go ahead and snip off that one that's coming to the side. And moving down to the new pepper plants both about the same. I would say that this one here is the better growth of the two. So I'm going to take out the other one, which is right there. These two lettuce plants here, they're both growing out at an angle. So that's the one, that's the other one. I'd say that one on the one side looks a lot better than the other one. Snip that out. And this one here, we've actually got three growing in here. Should have been done a little bit earlier, but being out of town, that wasn't going to happen. So, pull that one out. And we're going to pull that one. and leave the bigger one. So that's it for the pruning. We'll uh, change the nutrient solution over. And we're going to go with the mild growth solution this time. So General Hydroponics has a nice app for the uh, iPhone, iPad, or iPod. Um, it's a uh, nutrient calculator. Uh, you put in the amount of uh, gallons or liters that you're using uh, fresh water and it will tell you how much of the nutrient solution per each of the stages that you go through. So uh, if you have an Apple product I'd look that up on the App Store it's free too. Um, one of my viewers wrote in and let me know that I'd mixed the chemicals the wrong way the last time. Uh, you need to mix the flora micro first then the flora grow and then the flora bloom for the instructions on the bottle. So on uh, mild growth, um, we're going to be using uh, 5 milliliters of the Flora Micro. We're going to use 10 milliliters of the Flora Grow and 5 milliliters of the Flora Bloom. So we add the 
five milliliters of the floor micro. And we're going to give it a shake. You want to make sure that you mix up your nutrient solution in your bottles real well before you dispense them also. And we're going to go with 10 of the floor grow. And again, we'll mix it up. And then we're going to go with five of the floor bloom. And then we're going to mix that up. And now we're going to drain the uh, nutrient solution and we're going to refill it. It'd be there. What is that stuff? That's what, makes the, that's what makes the plants grow. Oh. It's called nutrient solution. It's not even falling in there. It's going back in the bucket. That's where it's supposed to go. It's not going out this, the thing. So here's a little flyover that lets you see what everything is looking like now that all the pruning is done and uh, nutrient solution is added. Uh, I'm going to be doing an update for the lighting system and I should have that video out within a couple days, the uh, modification of that. So that's it for this week's update. Um, not much growth going on, but I think now that we've added the uh, mild growth solution, I uh, wish to see some real results in the next week, plus thinning it out. It's going to help a lot. So, like always, if you like this, go ahead and click on the thumbs up button. And uh, if you want to see more of this in the upcoming weeks, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And uh, we'll keep you up to date on the rest of these. And as always, thanks and have a great day.